Good day grade 9 learners and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. In this lesson, we will be looking at the trial balance for a trading business. So what is the purpose of a trial balance? Firstly, it is to make sure that the calculations for the debit side equate to the calculations to the credit side. Secondly, it is to prepare the financial statements for the end of the year. And lastly, to locate any possible errors. Once the general ledger has been balanced at the end of the month, it is important to see whether the entries have been placed correctly. It serves as a quality control measure. All the debit entries will be recorded on the trial balance on the debit side and all the credit entries will be recorded on the trial balance on the credit side. What's important to note is that the debit and the credit side must equal. If it's not in balance, the bookkeeper has to go back and check whether they've made the mistake or an error. Let's look at the format of the trial balance a bit closer. The first thing we need to do, we need to start at the heading of the trial balance. The name of the business, Ika Sikofu Kamban, trial balance on the 31st of January, 2021. Start with the balance sheet section and then the nominal account section. The balance sheet section consists of equity and assets accounts. Capital increases your owner's equity balance on the credit side. Drawings decreases your owner's equity balance on the debit side. All the assets increase on the debit side, write the balances on the debit side. The nominal account section consists of income and expense accounts only. The trial balance balances. The totals agree. The double entry principle is applied. The debits equal the credits. And if the debit equals the credit, there is no error. So credit nines, this is your first time going through the trial balance. Let's look at this section one more time. Let's use the example of the general ledger in the previous lesson and draw up the trial balance for Ikasi Kofu Company for August 2021. The first account will be the capital account. The balance of the general ledger will be posted on the credit side of the trial balance in the balance sheet account section as mentioned earlier. The second account is the bank account. This balance will be posted on the debit side. The third account is the trading stock account. This balance will be posted on the debit side. Next up is sales. This is in the nominal account section and will be on the credit side as incomes increase on the credit side. The next account is the cost of sales account and this account will be posted on the debit side as the cost of sales is an expense and will be on the debit side. Next is rent income and as you know, income increases on the credit side. Wages are an expense and will thus be debited. The next account is rent expenses. Rent expenses increase on the debit side. The last account is stationary, which will also be posted on the debit side. After all the accounts have been posted, the debit and the credit side must equal. Let's go through this example from top to bottom one more time.
Grade 9s, this marks the end of Lesson 6 for Grade 9 EMS. Today we looked at how the trial balance works. Now remember Grade 9s, it's very important that the trial balance always balances. The debit side must equal to the credit side. Now remember what I said about the trial balance. It's almost like a quality control. So if the balance is not in place, then there's something that you've done wrong. So always make sure that each and every step is done 100% correctly so that the trial balance always equates. Okay, grade nines, thank you very much for joining with us throughout these lessons. I understand that we've made a huge jump in financial literacy, but if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, it's perfectly normal. Now, what I do suggest is go through the lessons one more time and again and again to make sure your foundation is solidified. Now, this will make everything much easier for you from grade 10 up until metric. Thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you next term. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. These lessons are very costly for us to produce, but we are very determined to keep it free for everyone. We produce these lessons at the rate at which it gets funded. So here are three ways to join hands with us to keep it free for all South African learners. First off, share our resources so that more people can benefit. Secondly, you can add us on my school as a beneficiary. This will help us immensely. Thirdly, we give Section 18A certificates, so your contribution will have a tax benefit. So let's join hands and collaborate for free quality education for all South Africans.